Hey everyone, it's your buddy Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be jumping into something a lot of people don't know but should know, and it's going to be all about the light, medium, and heavy armor, what you should be doing exactly, whether you should be wearing a heavy head, a heavy chest, medium gloves, light pants, medium boots for that maximum medium armor, or should you be going to the next stage of heavy, full heavy, or you know max light, it's going to be all up to you and kind of what you want to do, but I'm going to give you guys all of the best ways to take advantage of light, heavy, and obviously medium armor as well. So let's jump straight into it. So with today's video, guys, like I said, we're going to kind of go over each and every build. This is going to be what I have on right now, the maximum heavy, or sorry, medium armor. You're actually going to see right here, 22.9. While wearing medium armor, by the way, you dodge is a quick hop, and you deal 10% bonus damage in healing, and crowd control debuffs you apply last 10% longer. So you can actually see as well, when I do this hop, it's actually a fairly decent hop. It's much better than heavy, um, and you can get three in because it's actually only 40 stamina per hop so you have to keep that in mind heavy costs 50 stamina per hop i do want to show you guys one thing specifically you never want a uh you never want a uh you know shield on because like i said shields are very very useless unless you are running sword and shield if you are running sword and shield shields are amazing obviously you're going to need one on but if you are like i said running a medium or a light build and you are, do not have a sword on um there's really no reason to use like i said a shield because that these attributes that you see there, that four strength, eight constitution, do not apply unless you are running a sword and shield build and have a sword equipped. Just keep that in mind. So when you have a sword, uh, it makes sense to have a shield. If you have no sword, take this thing off right away because it's just going to add to your weight and cause you to go up a class of uh, equip load most likely. So keep that in mind. I do want to talk about the thresholds where you want to stay between. So let's start off, like I said, since we already have medium on, we're going to start with medium. I know that's kind of a weird space to start because we have light and heavy to talk about yet, but medium is one that a lot of people are utilizing recently. We saw that with open beta. A lot of people starting to utilize this idea of medium armor because it's very, very strong because you have a decent amount of physical and elemental. You can see that here at the bottom, 1,159 physical and elemental being 1,212. That's going to make you a lot tankier compared to you know just straight up light armor. And a lot of people are taking advantage, like I said, of medium armor. I want to talk a little bit about light armor as well. So let's start going toward that light armor. By the way, guys, if you don't know, medium is best to always have for a maxed medium weight build. You're going to want heavy head, heavy chest, medium gloves, light pants, and medium boots. I will have a graphic, obviously, on the page here so you guys can look. But like I said, there's certain, there's certain gloves that will actually make it uh, kind of different. So here we see this is a medium glove, right? It actually weighs, you can see the weight here at the bottom, bottom of it, 2.6 weight. If we actually take a look, there's like a tanning glove or some sort here. Let's see if I can find it. So heavy fur trapper, that's going to be 2.6 weight as well. So let's keep going down. There is one glove here I wanted to kind of show you guys. If it's like a tanning glove of some sort or, you know, some kind of harvesting glove, that is actually not going to be the case. The weight on those are going to be much less. Here we go. Harvester gloves, you can see here. This is actually a medium glove. Same kind of thing. Same concept. Both medium gloves. However, the weight is, like I said, much, much different. You're going to see 1.5 is the weight as, uh, you know, it's a harvesting glove. So it's actually much, much less in weight. So you got to keep that in mind. And obviously as well, if we put this on, you can see down here, all of these stats are decreasing when I put that on. So keep that, uh, keep your eye down there on the 1,100 basically, and then 1,153. As we switch gloves again, they all increase. That's going to make you a lot tankier, obviously, having some more elemental D, uh, you know, elemental as well as physical defense. I want to jump into light though. Like I said, a lot of people are talking about playing light people or light, uh, I guess, equip load. So first off, your bonus, if you guys didn't know, while wearing a light armor, your dodge is a quick roll that covers a lot of distance. You deal 20% bonus damage and healing. So that's definitely very, very big for uh, healing staffs. And obviously, if you're going to full damage build, maybe if you're playing in duels, light could be a very good choice. It's just, you know, a lot riskier, uh, you know, a lot more risk and reward there. I do want to say, if you're running light, you're going to want four light armor and one medium. Your only medium is going to be your chest. So this is going to max you out at 12.7 pounds. So let's do exactly that real quick. Um, let's see if I can find all this light armor really, really quick here. Light headwear. Um, let's make sure that's not a, uh, a fancy one here. So 1.5 pounds, that is correct. We have medium chest wear, which we're actually going to want, like I said, one medium chest, and that's it, everything else light. So now we're going to be back on the light train. 
We're going to get this light glove. We're going to get, we have light leg wear on and we have medium footwear. So all we need to change is the footwear now. If we can find light footwear in this stash of loot. So it looks like we now have that 12.7. Like I said, that's going to be the max that you can get with light as we know of right now. So to keep that in mind, this is going to be the best possible solution is 12.7 out of that 50 pounds. Because here you're going to be able to see that uh, 540.2 physical, 767.0 elemental. So let's just change that medium out for a light because we'd obviously still be under light armor and just see what happens to that uh, defense. So you guys realize how much really like that does help in the open world. That helps so much playing against people in duels. It helps so much playing against people in PvP in general, and even against you know PvE mobs as well. So we can see 540 and 767 transfers all the way down. If I put light on to 10 weight, look at the physical and elemental resistance now. Yeah, unbelievably low. So you're going to want to keep that medium armor on. You're going to want to keep that you know very, very close to maximum weight, which by the way, for light is 13 pounds. So keep that in mind. I do want to jump into the final one, and that's going to be heavy. A lot of people are going to be playing heavy. I just want to show you guys the rule real quick. If you don't know about light's rule, this is probably what you guys have seen around the open world quite a bit already. But it's going to be that 50 per use. Um, but if you wait a little bit, you can actually wait. And uh, you know, after your first roll, you could wait for your stamina bar to go up to 52 or something, and then you can get three rolls. But like I said, 50 stamina per roll. Let's jump into heavy. So heavy is going to be an interesting one because you're going to want heavy everything, and that's kind of obvious because there's no threshold to extra heavy or you know, there's no threshold to no dodge roll. So heavy, you're going to want to go all out. So might as well use the best tower shield we can find. We have that here um, giving us great stats because we're going to go sword and shield. I'll put a sword on for this specific reasoning. Um, and then we'll also put on straight heavy, like I said, and we'll kind of show you guys what heavy looks like physical and elemental wise. If you guys can compare from previously in the video, uh, let's go to heavy headwear. I believe we have heavy chest already. We need heavy everything else now. So uh, you're pretty usually pretty easy to actually um, find what would be what just based on looks. Obviously, you know, you see that it's pretty much what steel metal. So you're going to know that's heavy. Let's go into the leg wear now. Leg wear wise, we are going to see one here and then feet. We're going to want another one because we're already at heavy, by the way, at 39.2 heavy. But look at this physical and elemental. It's already so much more than it was at, you know, light and uh, light and medium, that is. And let's see what this uh, the last last footwear actually does to that physical and um, elemental. We can find one. Here we go. So it's going to bump it up even more. Uh, and it's a ton per actual item or a ton per actual um, equipment. So you got you to gotta keep that in mind. It's a ton that uh, it helps, obviously, the more the more weight you add on because these are going to all, like I said, all heavy is going to give you more than all medium. All medium is going to give you more than all light when it comes to defenses. So 549 gear score with this current setup. And we're going to look at the, like I said, uh, the dodge roll now. So the dodge obviously going to be a lot less. It's not going to be much of a dodge. You're going to pretty much just duck down. And it's still going to give you some movement. You got to keep that in mind. But while wearing heavy armor, the big thing is that your dodge is a slow sidestep. But your block stability is increased by 15% and crowd control debuffs you apply last 20% longer. So I just wanted to give you guys kind of my overview on light, medium, and heavy armor. How you can max out. So I'm going to go over it again. Maxed light armor, you're going to want 4 light and 1 medium. The only medium being your medium chest. That's going to put you at 12.7 pounds or should put you right around there. We also have maxed medium. So if you want to max out on medium armor, you're going to want 1 light, 2 medium, and 2 heavy. Your head is going to be a heavy. Your chest is going to be a heavy. Your medium gloves, light pants, and medium boots going to put you at, like I said, 22.9 pounds. A very, very solid build. And then, like I said, heavy. You're going to want to go all out. Get everything heavy you can. Really build up that uh, or max that out on defense-wise. So that's going to be kind of the quick guide or overview of what you're going to be wanting to do if you're going light, medium, and heavy armor. Either one of those, like I said, it's pretty much all relevant here. You're going to want to try to get that all the way close to the top of the uh, list, you know, 1.1 more would put you over to the next tier just to take advantage of all the defenses. So thank you guys again for tuning in. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on. I'll see you guys all on Eternum.